Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to do a comparison between building WooCommerce stores with Breakdance and building WooCommerce stores with Elementor. Breakdance is heavily inspired by Elementor, so this video is not meant to be a criticism of Elementor. Elementor is a good product, and we've watched it carefully over the last few years. We identified a number of areas that we could improve, and we made those improvements in Breakdance. Our goal is to make it easier for you to build better websites in less time. You can think of Breakdance as a step up from Elementor. To illustrate these differences, I've created two sites, one with Elementor, that's this one right here, and I'm using the Elementor Hello theme, and I've created another with Breakdance and no theme. In Breakdance, themes are optional, and since I want to build everything in Breakdance, there's no reason for me to use a theme. And these are default installs. I haven't customized anything at all in either of the installs other than just adding a header so we can click around the website and view various pages. So here I am in the Breakdance install. You'll notice it already looks fantastic by default. Here I am on the cart page, already optimized for conversions with the totals on the right. Let's go over to the checkout page. We have a beautiful, nicely styled checkout form, nice place order section. Let's take a look at the shop page, or let's take a look at an individual product page. These all look fantastic by default. Now let's take a look at the Elementor site. And you'll notice the Elementor site is using the default WooCommerce styles. These look quite dated, and this isn't Elementor's fault. This is just the default WooCommerce styles. Unfortunately, WooCommerce was built a while ago, and their default styles are, to say the least, not modern at all. They're not something you'd want to use today unless you want to make, you know, a bad impression on your customers. And this isn't really WooCommerce's fault either. They probably just don't want to break backwards compatibility and hence they haven't changed their styles. So here's the default WooCommerce cart page and then here's the default WooCommerce checkout page. This is an Elementor install. Anyway, let's go back to Breakdance. In Breakdance, we didn't want to make you manually style all of WooCommerce to get it looking good. Of course, we provide the options to customize as much as you want. We just wanted to give you a great starting point. We wanted to give you a starting point you don't even have to customize at all unless you want to. A starting point designed to convert. Next up, I want to compare customizing a Breakdance WooCommerce store versus customizing an Elementor WooCommerce store. So to illustrate the differences, we're going to do, or we're going to try to do the same thing in both builders. We want to get all the WooCommerce buttons purple, all the outline buttons outline and purple. We're going to make the links purple too. Purple is just going to be our brand color. So everywhere you see blue here, we're going to see purple on every page, the product page, the cart page, the checkout page, the account page, everywhere in WooCommerce, we're going to make that primary color purple. In addition, we're going to customize our WooCommerce forms. We're going to do a two pixel solid black border around our form fields. And we're going to do that for all form fields, for the form fields on the checkout page, for the form fields in the cart, for any form fields and coupon notices, all the form fields, we're going to get them looking the same. We're also going to change the border radius. Instead of these little rounded corners on the buttons, we're going to use square corners for our buttons. Okay, let's go ahead and do it in Breakdance, and then I'll show you how you do it in Elementor so you can see the difference. So in Breakdance, we have a WooCommerce Global Styler. You get there by going to Breakdance in the admin bar and then clicking Edit Global Styles. This is going to allow you to customize every part of your WooCommerce store from one central location. Then you can customize the individual WooCommerce elements if you want, but only as much as you need. You don't need to manually set purple or a two pixel border width everywhere. You just do it in one central location. So let's go ahead and do it. In my global settings, I'm going to go to colors. And the first thing I'm going to do is just set my brand color to purple. And there we go. It's already done my buttons, my links, my radios. And you'll notice that's taken effect everywhere. It's taken effect on the shop page. It's taken effect on an individual product page. It's taken effect for the sale badges. We've just done it everywhere. Okay, let's say we want to do an accent though. Let's say for these sale badges, we actually want the sale badges to be a different color. Well, let's go into WooCommerce and then let's go to other sale badge. 
And let's customize that background a little bit. I think with purple, we could probably also use kind of like a teal color for that sail badge. That looks pretty good right there. So now we have the teal sail badges. And those take effect everywhere in all products lists, in the product images on the individual product page. Everywhere that sail badge is shown, it's going to respect our global styles. Let's say we wanted to customize the form styles. We wanted to add a two pixel solid border to all of our inputs. We'll just go to forms. Let's go to fields. And for borders, I'm going to do a two pixel black solid border. And that's going to take effect for all form fields. So let's add this product to the cart. Let's go ahead and view the cart. Notice it's taken effect for the form fields in the cart as well. Let's go to the checkout page. It's taken effect for the form fields in the checkout. Let's go back to the shop page and take a look at these secondary buttons here, this add to cart button or select options button. Let's use a two pixel solid border for these as well. So to do that, we'll just go to buttons, secondary, and let's make our secondary buttons outline buttons with a two pixel width. And voila, that's going to affect every single secondary button on the site. So if we now browse around the site, you'll notice that everything is respecting the global styles we just set up. It took two minutes, three minutes, one minute. It was that quick to get the entire store to match our brand and look how we want. Let's say we want to get rid of those border radiuses on the buttons and on the form fields. Okay, we'll go to primary and let's just go square corners. Let's do the same for our secondary buttons. We're going to do square corners and let's go to forms, go to fields. And for those borders, we'll set that radius to zero. And look at that. We now have square corners everywhere on our form fields, on our place order buttons. It's just done. Okay, now let's see how we'd make similar customizations in Elementor. So here I have the cart page. This is the default WooCommerce cart. Let's go into Elementor and let's swap out that WooCommerce cart shortcode for Elementor's cart element. And this is instantly going to make the cart look much better. Let's do the same for the checkout page. So I'm inside Elementor editing the checkout page. I will delete the default WooCommerce checkout shortcode and I will add in the checkout element. And this also instantly looks much better. Unfortunately, there's no way to customize these styles globally. So if I want all of my WooCommerce buttons to match my brand color, I have to set it up manually for every single WooCommerce element. Let's start doing that. I won't finish the process in this video because it would take probably hours to get the entire site to match the styles that I just created in Breakdance in minutes. But let's see how it would be done if you did want to build a WooCommerce site with Elementor. So you'd go to your cart element, you go to style, and let's first set this procedure checkout button. So we'll go to checkout button and let's go to background type, set it to classic and set that color to purple. I already created a purple global color. Okay, we also want to make these links purple. So we could do that at cart typography. And if we go to links, we can set that link color to purple. And there we go. Let's say we wanted to get these button outlines in these forms to be purple. Um, I think we could do that in forms and then if we go to buttons, we can go to, well, we want a white background for these. I'll leave it as is. And then for border type, we'll just choose solid. We'll give it a two pixel width. And for color, let's just choose that color for the borders. And there we go. We've now set our link color, our, our button border color, our, our proceed to checkout button color. So that looks good. Now let's go into the checkout element for Elementor. And now we would have to do the same thing for this checkout element. So we'd have to go into style and then we'd have to go into the purchase button and let's go to background type, set it to classic and then color, choose that global color. And then we do the same thing for this link, the same thing for this button and so on and so forth. For example, if we wanted to do a layout for an individual product page, we would then have to set our button and our form field styles for that page when, while editing that product template. If we wanted to do the shop, we'd have to create a shop template and then set up those styles for the shop template. Basically, you'd end up creating the same styles over and over and over in all sorts of different places. And if you later change your mind and you want a certain font size to be a bit bigger or you want to use more rounded corners on your buttons, well, you get to reset it everywhere all over again. You would think these elements support global styles but 
Generally speaking, they don't. Elementor does have rudimentary global styles. You can get to it by going to site settings. Unfortunately, though, Elementor's WooCommerce elements, generally speaking, don't respect those global styles at all. For example, if I go to global colors, you'll see I haven't set this blue anywhere. It's still using that blue. Um, if I go to buttons, for example, even following the instructions about theme style, it still won't affect these WooCommerce buttons. I could set the border radius to 300 pixels, and as you can see, has absolutely no effect on WooCommerce. Ultimately, Elementor's WooCommerce elements are customizable. You just can't customize them globally. Okay, now let's take a look at Breakdance's individual elements for customizing WooCommerce. So for this demo, I'm gonna create a custom shop page with sidebar filters. So here's my default shop page. I wanna customize it. So I'm gonna go into the WordPress admin panel. I'll go to Breakdance, go to templates, and then I'll click add template, and I'm going to choose shop page and all product archives. Let's click that, and now let's edit this template in Breakdance. So here we are inside of Breakdance, and I'm gonna to go to add, and I'm just going to add the shop page element. And very similar to Elementor, I have all my styling options. So if I wanna customize this shop page, I absolutely can do so. For example, I can go to products list, and let's do three products per row instead of four. It's easy to customize everything, but the great thing about Breakdance is most of the time you won't have to because all these elements can be made to look good globally. In addition, when you add the element, you'll notice that this element, even though we haven't set up any styles for it, is respecting our global styles. All the styles we set up globally are automatically applied when you use the individual elements. Okay, let's go ahead and add some sidebar filters quickly. So to do that, I'm going to add in a columns element. I'm gonna choose two columns. I'm going to drag my shop page element into the right column. And into the left column, I'm going to go to add, and then I'm going to choose shop filters. And I could customize these filters. I could remove or add additional filters, but I'm just going to leave it on the default. And then I'll go to the column and let's drag this narrower so it looks good. And there we go. Beautiful custom shop page in WooCommerce. Notice how the shop filters are already automatically respecting the global styles we already set up. So there's no need to even set any design options. They already look exactly how we want them to. One other thing I'd like to note is that you can make Elementor look a lot better if you use it with a theme. So let's see how that looks. We've seen the default WooCommerce styles, but let's go to the WordPress admin, go to appearance themes, and we'll activate the Aster theme. Aster provides nice styles for WooCommerce. So let's hit activate, and then let's go check out some of our WooCommerce pages and see how much better they look. And here we go. We now have the beautiful Astra cart page. The drawback of this is that you need to run you know, you need to run your site with a theme. You can't build the whole thing in Elementor. Let's say we wanted to then go ahead and customize this using Elementor. Well, the customizations wouldn't inherit Astra's styles. Let's demonstrate. Here I am inside of Elementor, and the cart looks nice when we render it with the short code, but we don't have any customization options. If we clear out the short code and add the Elementor cart widget, it now looks like Elementor's cart. It doesn't look like Astra, and to customize it, you'll have to do what I showed previously. You can also run Breakdance with a theme. You can find that setting at Breakdance, Settings, and then Theme. However, there's very little point to doing this because Breakdance already looks great out of the box, no theme necessary. If you go to the Breakdance WooCommerce settings, if you use Breakdance with a theme, then you could disable Breakdance's default WooCommerce styles and get the WooCommerce styles from the theme, just like you have in Elementor. Of course, I wouldn't recommend this way of working because the breakdance way is far superior. That sums it up. Those are the main advantages of building WooCommerce websites with Breakdance. Breakdance is the fastest way to build a WooCommerce store. It's beautiful out of the box, and you also get all the other absolutely killer features of Breakdance. This is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you very much for watching.